Hi Gemini, this is your February 13th through February 19th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll then do the X. Spread after that, we'll talk to you about your work, your business, and your finances. And at the end, we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the Eight of Swords, clarified by the Lovers. We have the Three of Wands, clarified by the Fool. Then we have the Eight of Wands in the Potential Outcome. We have uh, the Star with the Sun and Temperance. And uh, we also have the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aquarius, perhaps even another Gemini, or any Zodiac Sign. Well, Gemini, this is it. This week will define the rest of your life. Yeah, and I think you know it. You definitely have some kind of a choice or a decision to make. And there's just so many ways that could be interpreted. But uh, let me let me take a shot. Let me take a stab at this. Right? We have the Eight of Swords clarified by the by the lovers. The lovers is your major arcana card, Gemini. Right? Or if unless you're dealing with another Gemini. The Lovers is also a card of a choice. And I do see you making making up your mind at some point this week, right? So you definitely have some kind of a decision or a choice to make. And the Eight of Swords that the Lovers is clarifying, it's a card of somebody who is stuck, trapped in their own thoughts, or perhaps stuck and trapped in a relationship, right? Or this is you overthinking this, because this is such an important choice to make. And yeah, some of you could be stuck in a relationship, a dead-end relationship, right? And uh, by the way, this is not a singles reading. This is a new love reading. Most of you are single. Some of you are not. Okay? So, what's interesting about this reading, there is a few things that are interesting, right? We've got every single fire sign here. And they are represented by their, their respected major arcana card, right? The Fool could be an Aries, the Sun could be a Leo, Temperance could be a Sag, <laughs> right? And uh, the Star, right next to the Sun and the potential outcome, could be an Aquarius here, you know, with Also, every single card in the potential outcome is a major arcana card. All three of them are major arcana cards, right? And um, this spread is also a very, very happy spread. We'll get to that in just a second. So I think if you have a choice to make, if you're choosing between multiple suitors, you know, make your choice based on what you think will make you the happiest. All right. So yeah, um, right next to that Eight of Swords, we have the Three of Wands, uh, clarified by the Fool. The Three of Wands is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision, and after that, there is no turning back. And I think that's you who is making that decision. The Fool clarifying it is either an Aries you're dealing with, or the Fool is going for it, taking a leap of faith, taking a risk for some of you. For some of you, liberating yourself, jumping out of one relationship, dead-end relationship, so you could start a connection with a new person. For some of you, perhaps relocation is at stake, right? Perhaps uh, if you're dealing with just one person, but uh, they are at a distance from you, either you or them or both of you have to relocate. And that's what's been holding you back. That's what's been making you think about this, right? But this week, there's going to be a final decision, a verdict made. So with the full card, you're going for it. And uh, it's also a card of taking a risk, like I said. Well, you know, every single relationship we enter is taking a risk. Every single one of them. It's just a matter of a 5% of a risk or a 95% of a risk or anywhere in between. Okay? The 801's in the middle. For some of you, it's that relocation I was just talking about. The 801's, uh, it could be you moving forward. It could be you getting out of one relationship into another relationship. The 801's is also a card of communication. So you will communicate to the uh, people waiting <laughs> for you to make your decision. You will let them know whom you're choosing. You know, things like that. And my favorite interpretation of the 801's is the Cupid's Arrows card. So if you have to make a decision, make it based on love. Speaking of love, Three major arcana cards in the potential outcome and the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. The Ten of Cups is a card of a commitment to marriage. It's a family card, right? It's also uh, the happily ever after card. That's my favorite interpretation of the Ten of Cups, the happily ever after, right? The star, the first card in the 
uh, potential. It could be an Aquarius you're dealing with, but the star is also a wish come true, something we usually wish for or hope for for a very long time. The sun, if it's not a Leo you're dealing with, then it's the happiest card in the deck. With the sun, we always feel on top of the world, we feel love, we feel joy. Temperance right next to the deck could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with, but temperance is all about, you know, patience. <laughs> so if uh, people are waiting for you, they'll have to be patient, they'll have to wait. And temperance is all about, you know, the, the deity, the angel in the temperance card is pouring liquid from one cup to another, back and forth, back and forth. So for some of you it's balance, for others of you it's just this uh, peace of mind, I guess, with this person. All right, so yeah, a very important week uh, for you, uh, Gemini. You can always let me know in the comments down below exactly what the scenario is, or perhaps I missed one of the scenarios. One thing I always mention, by the way, whenever the Fool and the Sun cards come out in the same spread, I always point out the similarities between those two cards. In the Fool card, in the right upper corner of it, we have the Sun, and then in the Sun card we have the actual Sun in it, and the gesture of the person in the Fool card and the, the kid riding that horse in the Sun card, to me personally, looks identical. It's a gesture of a very happy individual, if you ask me. So the Fool is a really happy card, the Sun is the happiest card in the deck, and the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck is the happily ever after. So like I mentioned earlier, this is a very happy <laughs> reading at the end. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to do an extended for you because that would be a waste of time, Gemini. Really happy for you. Congratulations. Gemini, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this part is for you. We have uh, the Queen of Wands, uh, clarified by the Knight of Swords. We had the Ace of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Ooh la la, <laughs> Gemini. Um, the King and the Queen of Wands in the same spread. This is my partners and crime couple. If you've been watching me for a while, you probably know that this is what I usually call the King and the Queen of Wands in the same spread. And I knew the King of Wands was going to show up at some point. Because the first guy I came out is the Queen of Wands. And I was like, okay, this looks very promising. Right? Partners in crime, you definitely have a new beginning or um, a trip. Perhaps you're going somewhere. It could be spontaneous. Right? I don't see this as uh, being planned for a while. I don't see this. For some of you, it could it's it's most likely spontaneous, or there's going to be very little planning involved here. But yeah, the King and the Queen of Wands, you're definitely on the same page. Both of you are very excited about this new beginning, all fired up about it, right? The Knight of Swords clarifying um, the Queen of Wands. Perhaps this is the indicator that that's you, Gemini. But you could be the the King or the Queen of Wands. Doesn't matter to me. The Queen, the uh, the Knight of Swords is an air sign indicator, but at the same time. It's the fastest night out of all four nights. So again, either you're going somewhere or when the two of you, when one of you has this idea, it's just, you know, the other person will get on board right away. Okay, the Ace of Swords in the middle is a very decisive, very determined energy. So again, no hesitation, nobody's going to be dragging their feet. And uh, the Ace of Swords is the, uh, the, uh, the word yes. The Ace of Swords is a card of clarity, it's a card of a brand spanking new beginning, a decision making card. The Six of Wands right next to the deck is a card of victory, success. It's also a card of feeling good about yourself or feeling good about what's going on. Alright, so yes, an exciting uh, week for the two of you. Alright, cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Gemini, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Eight of Cups, clarified by the Knight of Cups. We have Judgment, the Five of Wands, clarified by the High Priestess. And we also have Justice on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or a Libra. I'm just going to call it a 50-50, Gemini. I'm going to be honest with you. At the end, it will all come down to your own intuition. You will be struggling with this decision, I can tell you that much. But at the end of the day, again, it's your intuition. Okay? You do have somebody coming back. The Eight of Cups is clarified by the Knight of Cups in the beginning of this reading, right? The Eight of Cups, in this case, is somebody coming back to you. Perhaps grass wasn't greener on the other side, right? Or perhaps this person went on some kind of a search 
in the past and uh, the search turned up nothing or they've realized that you're the best that they ever had and here they come with that Knight of Cups could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces or the Knight of Cups, it's the most romantic night out of all for a night so expect a very romantic gesture from them Judgment in the middle is a card of somebody coming back from the past Justice on the bottom of the deck um, could be a Libra you're dealing with, but justice could be a major, major apology coming from them. It could be them wanting to make things right with you. And again, at the end, we have that five of ones clarified by the high priestess. I think this is you struggling with the decision. You know what? I usually recommend this in situations like this. If this person really, really screwed you over in the past, Chances are they'll do it again. If they didn't, if it was a misunderstanding or if they needed to grow up, <laughs> you know, perhaps you can reconsider. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Gemini, this week. We have the Page of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Tower. We have uh, the Hierophant and the, the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Taurus. But, um, yeah, here's the deal. Somebody's going to offer you to go grab a cup of coffee, uh, grab a bite together, grab a cold one after work and uh, when the two of you get together and have that cup of coffee <laughs> or eating the dinner or something, they're gonna drop something on you real real big in a, in a very good positive way. So you do not see this coming. It's gonna land on your lap and it's gonna make a huge bang. I think it's a job offer or a business adventure offer that's going to land on your lap, okay, during that lunch or during that uh, dinner or cup of coffee. So yeah, here comes the page of cups, just a page, but in this case it's that invitation to that cup of coffee, dinner, lunch, what have you, cold one, right? And when the two of you do sit down and have that conversation, just catching up, and then all of a sudden, bang, here comes that ace of swords clarified by the tower. Right, the tower is something unexpected in this case, something you do not see coming, something big, right? The Ace of Swords is the offer. Very straightforward, very direct offer. They're not going to be playing around, they're not going to be fooling around, they're not going to be beating around the bush, and everything they're going to tell you is most likely going to be true. The Ace of Swords is the Ace of Truth. It's also very determined, very straightforward. So somebody really wants you on board, Gemini. Really, like really. <laughs> Right? The Hierophant right next to the deck could be a Taurus you're dealing with, but when it comes to work, business, and finances, the Hierophant is something formal, something official. Right? So, yes, it is a full-time job. It is something that will involve signatures and paperwork. Something serious, something long-term. The Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck is a kind of victory and success. Right? So it's going to be an upgrade for you, you're going to be making more money. And at the same time, the Six of Wands is a card of feel good. Feeling good about yourself, feeling good about how you, um, you, know, how you feel, I guess. So yeah, uh, prepare, Gemini, you've got something major coming your way. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Gemini. We have the Queen of Cups, clarified by the Three of Cups. We have the Queen of Wands, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. Uh, we also have uh, the Six of Swords, clarified by the Star, and uh, the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Well, alright, so, so here's the deal. We have three queens on the table, right? Three ladies or just three individuals. If one of them is a Pisces or an Aquarius, then uh, what you're not expecting is a birthday celebration of one of them, or preparation, or being invited to a birthday party, right? Um, Aquarius birthday season is wrapping up this week and uh, Pisces birthday season is about to start okay uh, perhaps uh, their birthdays are so close one of them is a Pisces the other one is an Aquarius and perhaps they're gonna decide to celebrate together I don't know but the Queen of Cups could be a Pisces um, the star right next to the deck is an Aquarius card and uh, I assume you're the Queen of Swords <laughs> okay there's also this Queen of Wands involved um, but uh, yeah, perhaps it's more than two people celebrating a birthday. For some of you, it's not a, if it's not about a birthday, perhaps you're, it's going to be like a girl's night out, boy's night out, or you're all getting together going to Vegas <laughs> or something, or you're going to a spa day or something like that, right? So that's what I think is happening. Either, either a birthday celebration or preparation for a birthday, or you're all going somewhere, celebrating something, having a good time, or just going to a spa. Alright, cool. So yeah, that's what I have for you, uh, Gemini, for this reading.
for this um, week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Gemini, have an amazing week.